Hi guys, I'm Jazz Galati, I'm a dentist, and this short video, I'm gonna teach you how to take quadrant occlusal photographs like this. So these photos, following on from the video I made about how to take occlusal photographs, uh, check that one out, it's in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to take these quadrant photographs, which can be so useful in documenting your posterior quadrant cases, your crowns, your frustrations, uh, or even to show patients their crack lines. I'm gonna put my settings on there as well, as I'm showing you the photos, as I'm showing you the clinical way I use a long buckle mirror to take these photographs. So I hope you find this video useful. Let's go straight to the clinical video so you get an idea of what I'm doing. And the only thing to note is that the f-stop, the f number is lower. So you can experiment, you can do any f-stop you want, right? But the benefit of going for a lower f-stop, for example, a f eight or F5 or F13 is that you get a better depth of field. You get a really lovely crisper image of the tooth itself. Whereas if you use a higher F22, you don't get that depth of field effect. Um, and I just find the, these occlusal photos come out a little bit crisper and, and nicer to look at. But I want you guys to experiment. When you start taking photos, the first thing to do to gain from this episode or this mini uh, how-to series is to actually get out there and start taking these photographs so that you can start refining your protocol and, and try and make an image that you like the look of. There's no point in me telling you which setting. Dabble with your own settings, experiment, and find a style of photography that suits you. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get our lovely patient, Mr. Petter, if you can just hold on and go up like this. So I've got a patient now, the nurse can do this, but my nurse is doing a great job of recording this. So um, our patient, Mr. Petter, is gonna just move to the top over here. And the trick is to ke keep a distance between the buccal surface of the tooth and the cheek. And we've got a perfect situation there. Next thing to do is to dry the teeth, okay? Open nice and big for us, well done. Keep it nice and dry. Now, it's, it's good to sometimes warm your mirror because it will steam up, and I'm hoping it won't. Now, I've set my camera to one, a one-to-one -one magnification, okay? Now, as I've got this in, show me the biggest fig that you can open. Well done. So I always like saying that, patient, show me the biggest fig that you can open. You'll get what that means. So now I'm zooming in. I'm perpendicular to the mirror. Okay, and that's going to come up. Lovely, I'm happy with that. I'm going to share my settings of the camera on the screen shortly. Now, if I wanted to just stay like that for me, if I want to go to 1 to 1.5, now you'll see the difference. So, again, I'm going to get you to keep that. Uh, let me just move that in a bit more. So, you know, I'll get, grab a little bit more of that. Perfect. Brilliant. <clears throat> I hope you guys saw what I did there. I got the patient grab more of the cheek. And again, we say, show me the biggest big that you can open. Excellent. So that's how we take uh, the occlusal quadrant shots. Thanks so much, sir. So the main thing to remember is to be perpendicular to the mirror uh, and to warm the mirror if you're not using rubber dam. If you're using rubber dam, then it actually becomes easier because everything is retracted out of the way. The rubber dam just retracts the cheek out of the way and actually these photos are much easier with rubber dam. Just make sure you use, if you're using a mouth prop on one side, you get the patient to open big enough so you can get your mirror in and get the camera, your lens perpendicular to that mirror to get the best shot possible. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe uh, and let me know what kind of content you want. I wanna say thank you to the one dentist, a dear friend of mine who lives in Croydon, who asked for this video. Thanks for encouraging me, my friend. Yeah.